Now, as we all know, if we checked on the news about two to three hours ago, Arsenal have agreed a deal in principle to sign Bayern Munich only Jao Cancelo from Manchester City. But yeah, imagine if we have him at Arsenal, Jao Cancelo. I'll put a picture right up there of him now in the Bayern shirt. What a wonderful player. Wonderful player, without a doubt. He's a wonderful player. I rate him. I rate Jao Cancelo a lot. I love Jao Cancelo. Um, even when he was at City, um, if we did get this deal done, he'd be a phenomenal backup to, to Ben White or Alex, Zinch or Alex Zinchenko. If that's the one that we have to... Um, the team needs. Does Cancelo come in? Just want to wait and see. Um, I got notified with this news a couple of hours ago and I was sitting in my bed and I was thinking to myself, this is fake, surely. It was all over Sky Sports and everything. Jao Cancelo. Listen, right? Jao Cancelo would, would be a perfect signing. Let's all be real, it's probably not going to happen. But if it does happen, and it comes out of nowhere. It could be another player that City will regret sending to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, you never know. But could Bayern Munich and could Man City be nice to us? Apparently, I, w I, w I was hearing a source earlier and they were saying about how Bayern Munich are thinking of terminating his contract because of how shit he's been. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. He, he hasn't been that, that great for... Bayern Munich, but I think if he returns to the Premier League, not with Man City this time, this time with, with Arsenal, he he can do us some bits, and he can just I don't know come in for Zinchenko at some times, even Ben White if Tommy Asu's injured. Nah, bro, he'll be a perfect signing. He'll be a perfect, perfect signing. He'll fit the bill for our test test of time trying to build. He, yeah, he yes, he's at twenty eight or twenty nine now, turning twenty nine, I think. But imagine having Jao Cancelo at this football club. That will make things a hundred times better. And plus Arteta was the assistant under him as well for a little bit there as well. So he can't. He, I think he actually did lean us a bit about Mikel Arteta and what he does to the team and all that kind of stuff. Jao Cancelo, all, all I'm saying that would be a perfect, perfect sign for us if we were to get this deal over the line and if we were to somehow find a way of, of completing it, it would be phenomenal. It would cost a lot of money though, it, it would cost about 60 to 70 million pounds. Or should we pay about, what, 30, 40 for, these, for, for Zinchenko and about 50 for Jesus and look at what they've done for us. So you, so you can see now the picture that, that I'm, I'm trying to build here. Exactly, and I think you can see now what Mikel Arteta really, really wants to do to this Arsenal team, and, and and you can see now that he's trying, and yeah, I mean the more they try, and the more chance they have of actually, I don't know, staying for Because at the moment, Jao Cancelo's career is in massive danger. If he stays where he is at Man City, he's finished. But if he was to move to move to like one of the biggest clubs in the world like Arsenal, his career can get revived again and Look, I know it's not the transfer show again like, until next Wednesday. But it, it it was just some baking news that I was just shocked about and if this deal was to happen, why word what a signing and signing that would be. I'm gonna run a poll on this actually. Um Jal can sell us Arsenal, yes or no. What do you guys think? If Jao Cancelo joins, we have sight and us on our hands, bro. We, at that, at, at this moment, at, at this point, we're just robbing Man City, even Bayern Munich. I mean, if you come to think about it, Bayern should be ashamed of themselves because now, now that they sat Nagelsmann, Cancelo was having a good relationship with, with, with Julian Nagelsmann. Now he's gone. Bayern sacked him for no exact reason. 
No one even knows the reason why they sacked him, because they wanted Thomas to shit. And then fucking Cancelo and Tuchel don't, 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 don't like each other. That's why Cancelo dropped out out the team. Ben Pavard's come in and proved him wrong. So that's that's what basically happens in football. It's just something that he's got to get over with. It's it's just something that he's got to work on to I don't know revive his career. To, re to revive his, his career because at the moment he's in massive danger of fucking up his career, really. Jao Cancelo, though, how he would be a perfect signing for Arsenal. If this was my option, take the money. City can take the money. Because it's confirmed that Bayern are not going to buy him on a permanent deal. He ain't going to get along with Pep Guardiola. Arsenal are the, are the only club right now that's interested in him. Plus, he'll be playing Champions League football weekly, so he doesn't have to worry about playing in the Europa League because Arsenal are, are more than certain already qualified for the Champions League next, next season. Jao Cancelo, he, he, he would be a massive time for us, though. If we can, get, if we can complete, the, complete this deal and get this one over the line... Jesus Christ! You wait until my, my match previews next season. I'll be I'll be putting Cancelo in there, left, right, and center, bro. But the one thing that a lot of fans wouldn't like about it is that he might cause a lot a lot of controversy in the in the dressing room. Now I I I totally understand that with what's been going on behind the scenes at Manchester City, but. Arteta's got Arteta's a great a, a great manager, and the thing that happened with Aubameyang, um, not just about just a year ago, a year ago, two months ago, um, he, he dealt with it strongly. He dealt with it like just how a normal manager would deal with it. I mean, look, if you come to think about it, Mikel Arteta is just ridiculous right now. He, he went from a nobody to, to a manager who thinks that he oh, Arteta's just fucking brilliant. And if we were to win the Premier League as well, we'd have a more a better chance of signing Jao Cancelo than any other club in the world. Because the Premier League is the biggest league in the world, and I can and I, and I can tell you you that for certain. The Premier League and the and the Champions League are the main two, but the Premier League is slightly bigger than the Champions League. Some people say the Champions League is bigger. That's because they haven't won a Premier League title. Like Bayern Munich. <laughs> well, but I hope you're watching this. But yeah. Jao Cancelo to Arsenal. Would it happen? Let me know in the comments below. Would Jao Cancelo to Arsenal happen? And if it does, where, where would he slot in? Because actually... Here is Arsenal's eleven. He, he can't play in goal, obviously, because that's where Aaron Ramsdale will, or Matt Turner will, will play. If Ramsdale's injured, that's where Turner will play. But if both are injured, Carl Hahn will, will play in there. Or Kawanko when he comes back from loan. At left-back next season, we're going to have three. Um, Kieran Tierney, Alex Zinchenko and Nuno Tavares, who could be coming back from his loan next season. <sighs> Centre-backs, Gabriel Kivio or Pablo Mari. Right centre-back, William Saliba. Austin Trusty and Rob Holding, right backs, Takahiro Tomiyasu, Royal Waters, Ben White, and potentially Jao Kinsella. He can go in there. Um, Thomas Partey and Jorginho and Declan Rice as well. Um, the thing that's going on behind the scenes with Thomas Partey at the moment isn't looking too great. great. If anything does happen, happen on that, I'll make a video about it. And but yeah, Declan Rice and Jorginho, we can just say Granit Xhaka and El Neni. I know El Neni's not really good enough, but he he come in for the injured Thomas Partey last season, and, and actually he he done a, a fairly good job. I gave a round of I gave a round of applause to him. He was fucking brilliant last last season. I handed El Neni. So yeah. And then we have Trossard and Martinelli, of course, as our wingers. On the right, actually, we have Bukayo, Saka, Reese Nelson, Marquinhos, and Nicola Pepe, who could be coming back from loan. I don't think Pepe's going to play a single minute in an Arsenal shirt ever again. 
I don't want him to. The manager's a waste of money. Cashing on him in the summer. Don't send him out on loan. We can get good money for him. Use that money then to buy Declan Rice, buy Jal Cancelo. Even Jal Cancelo on loan for a season or two wouldn't be too bad, but we're looking to buy him. I'd rather it be on loan, actually, now, now, now that I come to think about it, because if he's, I don't know, if he just, if his permanent deal just doesn't work out and no one really, no one fans really wants to buy him and negotiations and all that, if it's a loan deal and it ain't working, we can just send him back to Bayern or City or wherever he wants. But I think we are going to buy him. Because he definitely wants to get out of Man City, desperately, as much as he could. He'd love to get out of Man City. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Then we have Martin Odegaard, Fabio Vieira and Emil Smith-Rowe. Smith-Rowe, I don't know much more about him, but... Um, I'm hearing Smith Rowe can actually sign a new contract, which is very surprising because he's barely he's barely played this season. I feel sorry for Smith Rowe. I really do. On the other hand, Fabio Vieira, not a great player. He's not the best of players, but he's a player that that you can. What's the word? He he's a player that you can look up to and you can say to yourself right I feel comfortable now Fabio Vieira is on the pitch but just one little mistake and we're fucked Fabio Vieira is that type of player of course then we have Captain Marvel Martin Odegaard El Pacio nicknamed Gabriel Jesus Eddie Nketiah and potentially Dusan Vlahovic I'm hearing more links that he that the links to Arsenal are getting stronger and stronger I don't want Vlahovic though he was rejected us at first. He can stay exactly where he is. He didn't. He, he, yeah. The thing with with Vlahovic, he did not want to join the, this bo this football club at first. I, I, I was ranting to myself for half an hour to my friend the final as well. Dusan Vlahovic would be a. I'm just saying. So yeah, Jal can sell us Arsenal. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you take that or would you not? I'll see you guys tomorrow for my combined eleven with Liverpool and Arsenal. With that said. I'm out of here. Come on, you gunners.